This Let's Play was supported by these awesome hobby companies. Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Claustrophobia 1643. I am joined in the studio by Jerry and uh, yeah, I think we're about to go down a very deep, dark, dangerous hole. Yes, very much so. Uh, so this is from the guys over at Monolith. They ran it on Kickstarter a little while back and from what I understand, everything is going swimmingly for this game. But we've got a copy in the studio and we want it to run through the first scenario. So Jerry, yes. what's our first scenario? Right, so essentially, um, You've got your set of four survivors. Yep. And they have to make their way out of hell beneath New Jerusalem. Yes. And they're going to be doing this by following these little tokens here, which is actually the direction of a breath of wind. Okay. So for this scenario... Does it smell like curry? I, I, I would imagine mostly sulfurous. Okay. Um, so so for, this bad curry. for this scenario, you've got a fairly limited time mm -hmm. because every time you move through a tile area that has been guided by the the wind the draft of wind yeah the tracker moves on once so there's only 10 turns so for yep. an introductory scenario it's very good yeah you're not burning through this mm -hmm. whole stack of tiles which is a possibility now that doesn't mean it's necessarily 10 tiles yeah. because you can hit dead ends at which point oh. i get being the Lord of Hell, I get to move the wind direction to another point. Uh -huh. So you could go down a corridor, find it's a dead end, and then all of a sudden the wind starts appearing from behind you. Oof. Because Hell is always in motion. Yeah. So. Well, yes. th this should be an interesting one because it's, it's an asymmetric game where I'm playing four heroic heroes mm. and you are playing... Well, you're playing one heroic hero and three scummy mercenaries he's dragged along with him. Well, you know, they were brought in from the local prison. Mm. You know. But uh, you are commanding the legions of hell with a, a demon at the head of them. I am. I've got the hunter, two hellhounds, and as many troglodytes as I can throw at you until you choke on them. Shall we read the scenario and figure out exactly what we're doing? What yes. uh, each That's... victory condition is? Hello, editor. I hope you've seen that. Very shortly, I'll be reading out the scenario. When you do that, can you put a montage of lovely images from the artwork and stuff there so they're not just watching me read like a tube? Sweet. Carry on. There we go. The survivors. Our numbers, our faith and our courage combined were not enough to avoid disaster. The cleansing of the underground tunnels has turned into a bloodbath sooner than we expected. <laughs> Great numbers of troglodytes roaming the tunnels and packs, backed up by demons, have scattered the mortals sent below before feasting on the isolated ones. Panic has ruined the hopes of the expedition, and only a handful have managed to survive, guided by the Redeemer. As they wander lost in the labyrinth, they must try and find their way out, even if it means helping themselves to loot from the bodies of their slaughtered companions. But their enemies grow ever nearer, and although they have already feasted on human flesh, they are still hungry. So, in this scenario, the humans, led by your good self, yes. have the Redeemer. Uh -huh. And then he is backed up by three fighters, which is two condemned scouts and a condemned brute. Yes. And I have two hellhounds, a pool of 11 troglodytes, so I can recycle them, but I can't go over that. Right. And the demon hunter. I see. And is there any limit on how many times the hunter can turn up? A hunter can be brought back once so right. it can be appear be killed and then reappear right uh, and, and different then... scenarios have different amounts of response for some of the things okay. the hellhounds only show up once oh once they're out of the way they're gone for good i see and it is just simply essentially escape hell find get to the end get to the uh, exit tile okay. if you get two of your uh team out uh-huh you win all right if i kill everyone i win okay and anything else is a draw i see so. so even if I lose three of my guys, I can still play for the draw? You can still play for the draw, yes. Okay. All right, well, uh, one of the great things about this game is the actual way that it functions on the tabletop. A mm. lot of the heavy lifting of this game is actually done by these, the, the character cards. So let me bring this in for you, and I'll show you how this works. So you've got what type of character you are. So this is the Redeemer. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got his name here. And this is an interesting thing. So each round, I'm going to be rolling these dice. And depending on what I roll, so I get a six there. I'm going to place it in the corresponding slot, and that's going to determine my stat line for the turn. Yep. As I take wounds, however, Jerry is going to be wounding me, and they're going to go into these little circles here, which are from the lovely little plastic skulls. If I'm forced to activate on this, 
this is what happens here. So any abilities are lost, and I have no movement, no attacks, and a defensive three. So it can get very bad yeah. very quickly, depending on how I have to activate. So but that's only if you become exhausted. And yes. You choose where the wounds go. I and, and I you also choose where the dice go when you so you roll them and then mm -hmm. allocate them. Exactly, but as everybody starts taking a few wounds here and there, I might be forced to go, sorry buddy, you're just going to have to hunker there for this turn. And because you are a redeemer, essentially a paladin, you do have a one once per game ability to heal. Mm -hmm. So if you do have a turn where you've got no option but to put it onto somebody that you don't want it onto, you have a chance to take that away. So Aye. you lose the exhaustion, you lose the wound, it frees up that slot again. Aye. And also gives them a little stat buff for the rest of the, the activation. Oh, lovely. So... Yeah, now on your side is really interesting because your boards are completely different yes. to mine. So you've got your big one. Do you yep. want to slide it in for us? Yep, my boards are much better than yours. <laughs> form. So this is my uh, destiny. So my dark destiny board gives me my basic stat line for the troglodytes, uh, which you always have, regardless of the scenario. Uh, you also have your activation dice pull. Mm -hmm. Down here are my little gems for my threat pool, and it's the threat pool that I use to generate demons in yeah. the dungeon. So at the moment, I could bring in three points worth of troglodytes, mm -hmm. or I could bring one hellhound in, which is uh -huh. also three. So um, there's a resource management side mm -hmm. from being the Lord of Hell. And then you also have various abilities on the board as well. Mm -hmm. So if I want more in the threat pool to have more active or more more demons coming in, then I would use the Abyssal Threat. So you roll your activation dice and then choose where you're going to assign them. Do I want to have some very quick trogs? Mm -hmm. Do I want to have them frenzied? Um, do I want to try and sneak in where my opponent is? Because you're limited where you can deploy. Mm -hmm. You either have to go into a tile that's completely empty, mm -hmm. but also has unexplored regions beside it. So if you've gone out and, and looked left and right, and they're both dead ends, and then yeah. come back, I can't appear behind you mm -hmm. because you know there's no demons there. Yes. Um, so that limits me where I can actually spawn in from. Yeah, unless but you I could use deploy further out where I haven't explored. Yeah, yeah. But I can use things like the sneaky charge or the intrepid charge or some of my destiny cards mm -hmm. to overrule that. Okay. So where you've got somebody who is essentially guarding a doorway mm -hmm. and normally wouldn't be able to put a trog or a demon or a yeah. hellhound there. I can just have an intrepid charge and actually just barrel people into them. I see. So it's it's nice that you have those options, but if it's if it's forcing you to spend that resource, that's interesting. You then have your, your character yep. cards as well, don't you? So I have two hellhounds, which are the same bar the artwork on them, and the artwork corresponds to the two sculpts. So here we have the leaping hellhound. Mm -hmm. um, and these are quite interesting. They come in with a terrible stat line uh, of no movement, no attacks. Um, and four defense, but they constantly adapt. So by spending a dice on them, you get to choose, well, the number on the dice corresponds to whether they're very quick, mm -hmm. very uh, fighty, mm -hmm. or very defensive. Gotcha. And so whenever you're rolling at the start with your activation dice, you might go, right, well, I really want somebody to be able to tear in there quickly and Aye. remove somebody. Or I might go, well, I'm not gonna, I'm guarding a gateway at the moment. I might be guarding the way out, mm -hmm. so I'll go super defensive. And the big bad himself, to coin a Buffy phrase, the hunter. Uh, and the hunter can do a couple of interesting things. One is this long activation mm -hmm. pull here. When I get five plus worth of dice on there, so, uh, so the know, number on the dice, the, the number on the dice has to be five or more. Uh, I can trigger it to prevent any humans from using their elusive ability, so Ooh. it stops them sneaking away from me. Especially if they're getting towards the, the, end, the yeah. end, I can block off passages by just making sure that people can get through. Yeah. Uh, and the hunter is particularly vicious on that. They start with only one attack, mm -hmm. the same as a trog, which is terrible. But when they're attacking wounded people, they get an additional dice for every wound that that person has on them, I for see. every line that's been uh, knocked off your sheet. I see. So he's not somebody to bring in immediately mm. because he won't do any damage. But towards the end of the game, yeah, he when becomes people, quite are, vicious. people are wounded and people are struggling, yeah. that's when you bring him in and he can pretty much start one-shotting people at that stage. So yeah. it's good. The, the character almost looks a little bit shark-like. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, I don't know whether it's a shark or some sort of unusual beak mm. going on because it's, it's a very bird-like. It's the cross between a, 
we've got a picture up somewhere, but the, the beak looks like it's bone axe. Aye. So it's uh, unusual. All right. All right. Well, shall we begin? Yes, let's. All right, so we begin with my turn, yeah? You start the betting. All right, so I roll a dice for each of my characters. You do. And hopefully I should get some good activations here. So I roll. Mm -hmm. I get five, one, three, six. That's not bad. Yeah. So what I have to do now is I have to take my character cards and decide where I'm putting these. Now, I'm not mm -hmm. going to show this every time, but I will for this first one. So uh, he is not wounded. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. He looked wounded. <laughs> How else would the hunter know he was out there? Yeah. Smelt blood in the water. Yeah. Well, so the way this stat line kind of works is, so if you go for the six, you're super defensive, you're not very fighty, but you can still move. Or if you go for the one, you're more fighty, a lot less defensive, and can move. So I think for him, I kind of want to go middle of the road, so I'm going to put the three on him just to start things off. Uh, for this guy, he's very much a bit of a beat stick. So if I go super low, he gets like four attack dice, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. And I think I will do just that. In fact, tell a lie, I'll go with the six to make him really defensive because there's gonna be no opponents for me to attack this turn. I'm just gonna be moving and looking about. Yep. Uh, the rest is pretty simple. So I'll put one on this scout and I'll put the five on this scout. Mm -hmm. And this scout's actually quite interesting. This guy, he has a blunderbuss. And what the blunderbuss is going to do, it gives me an extra attack and lets me attack from one tile further away. So, very tasty. Interesting. Yes. Okay. So who's going to activate then? Uh, well, first thing I actually have to check is some of these ta cards actually have a thing on them. So you see this little slot here? Mm -hmm. So this is showing a card draw. So because I've done that, I get to draw one of these cards, which are double-sided, so I can either use it next round to have that dice result to use on somebody, or this ability. So I will have some choices to make. Okay. And that's actually a really nice one to start with. So I've got one guy with that. Yeah, so I'm only drawing one card on my rolls this time. Your uh, Redeemer has one. Ah, Redeemer, yeah. He, he also gets it on the gift. Yeah, he has an Aura of Courage. What's it do? The Aura of Courage? Yeah. Now you're going to require me to start looking up clever book things. Of course. This is terrible. So the Aura of Courage means that at the end of the preparation phase, you can choose another allied warrior, mm -hmm. and they can get plus one move, plus one fight, or plus one defense. Um, sorry, and not or. So plus one move, attack, and defense until the beginning of the next human preparation phase. Mark the chosen warrior using the Courage token. That's actually not bad. That's fairly insane. Yeah. Well, again, just being able to chuck out a buff is good. All right, yeah. so, uh, so... Who's getting that this turn, then? F is it per turn? It's it's at the start of the preparation phase for you for that. That one's always there. But the, the super heal and buff is Aye. only once per game. All right, well, if, um, if I'm giving somebody an extra move, I'm going to put it onto my condemned scout with the blunderbuss, because mm -hmm. this turn he actually is a movement of two, and I'll push him to a movement of three, so I can get some good ground covered. Okay. Uh, now, to actually explore, you have to select which one you're activating. So yep. he is... He is this guy, okay, and he's going to explore towards the wind. Yes, thought you might. Yeah, the infernal player mm -hmm. gets to choose. Well, he takes the tile and chooses and places it um, in er any orientation. So, and well, in this case, the orientation will only be straightforward <laughs> because uh, it's a single corridor tile. Yeah. But if there was um, dead ends or T junctions or mm -hmm. ninety degree turns, it's up to me what way they go. Right. Uh, these tiles also tell you how many models can be kept in there. Mm -hmm. So this one has a, a value of three. So there can be three heroes yeah. and three demons in there, yeah. not four. Uh, yeah. And it also has a special effect, Ooh. Uh, which is for this one. It's a little tentacly thing. It is a little tentacly thing, which means it's a carnivorous tunnel. Uh -huh. So every time somebody takes a hit while they're in there, the tunnel will double that. Oh. And that goes for both sides. So the tunnel cares not who it eats, troglodyte or human alike but it just must yeah. feed. And I will also move the tracker on one. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, well, I've still got two points of movement, still so shimmy on. Straight on. So, yeah, moving straight on down here. Okay. So everybody else is gonna be pushed back out of the way for a little minute here. Right. But that's okay, they'll catch up soon enough. Ooh, ooh, passage. A second carnivorous tunnel. Yes. Oh, that'll be terrible for your friends coming out after you then, won't it? It may be. Uh, I, he's got... I'm going to have the wind go this way. Really? You're going to turn it on me? Yeah. All right, well, I guess I have to follow it. Because so. I, I don't want to stretch too far. All right, well, give me another towel. Ooh, 
Okay. Well, in that case... Crossroads. Crossroads, <laughs> so... Which way do you want it to go now? Uh, I'm going to get you to run around in circles. <laughs> All right. Because that will harden you, <laughs> as they say, in hell. Uh, well, that's all of his movement spent, so yep. everybody else is going to follow up behind. Okay. So, the Condemned Brute, the other Scout, and the Redeemer. Okay. Which is all okay to me. That's not a bad start. No. He's no. away like a whippet. <laughs> so He's just panicked and went, no, 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 off into the dark. Been in here too long, I think yeah. I can hear the way out. I, I guarantee you, is my, my, my Redeemer calling? is probably black at her and he's probably shouting, Bullrick, get your ass back here. Okay. What do you get? So, well, interestingly, I got three threes, uh -huh. two whites, and a red. Yeah. Um, and that affects you on your board, yeah? It, it affects me on my board, depending on where I'm going to put them on my mm. board. So the real question is, where am I going to put them on my board? Mm. Yeah. I could use it to get a Dark Destiny card, which could be amusing. I could start to prime uh, things like... In. So things like um, Sneaky Charge and... Uh, intrepid charge uh -huh. because they've got a plus seven and a plus eight required to trigger them yeah it requires either a big dice roll Aye. like i have now or i could leave dice on there for yeah. next turn and sort of sort of prime the pump so to Aye. speak um i think i will if i had two red i would definitely be going frenzy because yeah. that would just annoy you yeah. Uh, unfortunately, well, I like, don't. You, you get to deploy and activate this round, don't yes, you? Yes, I do. So you can sort of chase me down a wee bit. I think, all things being equal, mm -hmm. I will put one into my Abyssal Threat. Uh -huh. And uh, I think, so that'll be three. Uh-huh. I think I might bring a Hellhound to play. Ooh. Yeah. Go in heavy early? Yes. Why not? Um, with my remaining dice, I will use that to activate the Dark Destiny. So for that, uh -huh. whatever number on the dice is, that's how many cards you draw from the Destiny pack. Ah. So in this case, I've put a three in there. So I draw three, but I discard two of them. You only, keep, you only ever keep one in your hand. I see. But it just gives you choices. So if I had to put a one in there, I would have to take whatever I get. Yeah. Um, so Anything. that's quite interesting. That's quite interesting. That's so oh, that sounds like me, the master of destiny. Play this during my preparation phase after I have after having rolled the dice of destiny. Mm -hmm. Choose the dice of destiny and allocate it with the value of your choice. I'm just going to read these out because it's the first game. And it's, it's better than me just sitting here going, I know what, I know what I've got, you don't. <laughs> um, toxic Gas, play this during the threat phase. Mm -hmm. Choose a tile, roll a combat die for each human warrior on it. If the score is greater or equal than three, the warrior suffers a hit. Oh. Panicked, this card is played during the preparation phase of the human player before the human player has applied effects linked to activation die. Choose the activation die of a human warrior and allocate it to a non-cancelled line of a warrior. So, so they're all quite interesting. This panicked one means I get to choose one of your dice and where it goes instead of you, which Oof. could really annoy you if you've got somebody re ready and waiting to do a lot of damage with a blunderbuss, say. Yeah. I could end up going, no, I'd rather you ran three and didn't shoot. Yeah. Toxic gas, because the threat phase is coming up next, like this is my preparation phase, that, that could be played immediately, and I could play it on this tile and try and gas three of your warriors. Yeah, you could hit these guys yeah. and just try and get an early chip in there. And the Master of Destiny is also excellent. I can't use it this time because this this is the end of my preparation phase. Mm. Um, so next turn in my preparation phase, I can actually pick one of the dice and flip the number. After you've rolled? Uh, yeah, so after I've rolled, I go right, I didn't get, I've got one red dice there and I'd rather have two red for Frenzy, uh -huh. so I would just pick up a white dice and flip it to red and then activate Frenzy Bob. with it. Yeah. Having that is good, but I think, I think I'm going to gash you. Oh, God. Because why would I not gash you? So we'll do that in a moment. Okay. I'll just trigger the last of my abilities here. Uh -huh. So my Abyssal Threat goes down, uh -huh. which was a three, and that gives me... Three points of threat? Three points of threat in there, uh -huh. um, which I'll just grab one of the big tokens. Yeah. 
So, yeah, so you have big and little tokens. Little ones yeah. are worth one, the big ones are worth three. Yeah, it's just an easy, so. easy bookkeeping. And that's me for now for my preparation phase. Uh huh. Um, so I'll do the toxic gas uh -huh. in the threat phase. Yeah, so. And I will choose gassed. that tile. Yep. Okay. And roll for each human warrior in it, and on a three up, you suffer a hit. So for your brute, he does one. not. Uh huh. Too strong to be gassed by my toxic gas. A four on your scout will do. Yeah. So I now have to allocate a wound to your scout. Yeah. Thankfully, it's not the scout with the blunderbuss because the no. art corresponds to the miniature, so you very easily tell. Yeah. Um, honestly, I'm just going to put it kind of middle of the road in a slot where I've got four defense, two attack, and one move. Okay. Because I, I think I need to keep the movement on these guys. I can't be hanging about too much here. And finally, your redeemer, yeah. big fella. We'll take three. One. Yeah. So gas, gas, gas. That works yeah. well. So for the Redeemer, because he's got abilities, this is something you have to be very careful of whenever you're picking where you're putting your, your wounds. Mm -hmm. If I go into two or into five, I'm losing these abilities, which I really don't want to lose yet. Uh, so my thinking is I'll drop... Oof, that's his best movement. So I'm going to go here where he's got a pretty decent defense and drop that. Mm -hmm. I think that's my best option. Right. Okay. So now it's my threat phase, and I get to start spawning in some demons. Yeah. Uh, and you've got quite the amount of stuff. There. Yeah. So I will be cashing that in immediately to get a hellhound. Yeah. And it is walking hellhound. It's walking hellhound. Not that it makes a difference. They're identical stat wise. It's yeah. just. Where's he going to walk in? He's going to come in from here. Uh huh. And he will sit there while the trogs appear. Uh huh. And I can have four trogs. And why wouldn't I? <laughs> um, well, I don't know if you were saving for the other Hellhound. Yeah, but I, I'll get the other Hellhound next turn if I want it. Yeah. So I will trog trog there, which fills that tile. Can't bring anybody else in there. Yeah. I can yeah. bring one in behind you, though. Yeah, and that's three of them. Yep. Uh, hmm. Well, this is interesting. No. Well, I go in behind you as well. Mm. Actually, no, I will keep the remaining one. Okay. Because there's a maximum on the unit or on the, the uh, uh, up decisions. I do like the idea of keeping one so I, I can get somebody out next turn without having to worry about having the threat available, having mm -hmm. to put dice into the abyssal threat. Yeah. Um, but I could try and pin you in place now mm -hmm. and really do some harm. You could. Uh, if you think, I mean, like, look how fast that scout's going. Yeah, but he's one man. If he gets out by himself, his three friends die, that's a draw. <laughs> you know. And in the case of a draw, I count that as a 75% victory for me. <laughs> so I don't care what the book scenario says. 75% of your men dead is a victory. Yeah. I'm going to stay with that. This reminds me of our last game of Speed Freaks when it was just me going, nah, I'm out of here. Yep. Yeah, but this time you can't cheat me like that. <laughs> Cheated last time. <laughs> I did not. Cheated. <laughs> so, activation phase. Yes. Hellhound will activate first. Okay, where's he going? He's just going to go in there. Oh, munch, munch, munch. Munch, 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 yep. as you say. Yeah, and uh, the way the activation works is you can move an attack or attack and move. Yep, or have an action. So if you have specific actions or abilities. Uh, um, yeah, so, so which... So it's action and... Yeah. Uh, so which version of the puppy have you got? He's super defensive, so he's oh. only got one attack. Uh -huh. uh, but he also has, and I'm going to have to check the name here, I think it's impressive. It might be irresistible, like myself, if that would make sense. It's probably impressive. Impressive. He's impressively irresistible. It uh, blocks you, so mm -hmm. you know there's a chance I can try and stop some of your people leaving. Uh, your actually, scout has elusive. He does, which cancels it. Well, it only cancels it if he's still alive. Oh. If he's dead, I see your and plan. My, my hound is there. You're not your leaving plan. that. I see your plan. And on that note, I'll be attacking the scout. The scout. All right. Well, he is currently defensive three. Defense three. That's okay. That's fifty fifty. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for a one. Nope. Denied. That's okay. Who's next? Trouble right. On your scout. Okay. Defensive three. A four. It's a hit. That'll do it. That'll be two hits because the carnivorous tunnel doubles up. Oh, buggery. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, hmm. The downside of this is because my hound missed, I can't kill the scout this turn. I can leave him go with five two, out of six, which is fairly vicious. And I'll go one. Okay. 
and final trogo. Yeah, it's going in. And we'll attack your scout. Yeah, needing a three. Needing a three. Denied. Or oh, two. But still, that's half your damage on your scout. I yeah. don't mind that. That's okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to murder, murder some stuff here. Murder, murder? Yeah. I thought you might. Yeah, but and you've still got a trog behind me. I do have a trog behind you, which means I can always chase you down through the other carnivorous tunnel of death. <laughs> so that's quite good. Yeah. And that's me. Okay, so it's back to me. Yep. First thing, lose your dice. Yep, I'll lose my dice. And roll my dice. Okay, this, this I can work with. So I'm going to go for two mm -hmm. for the Aura of Courage again. Yep. Uh, then I've got three, three, five. So I'll stick five on the Wounded Scout. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, sorry. Oops. Five on the Wounded Scout, three on the OK Scout. Yeah. And three onto my Bruiser. Okay, dokie. So do the you, way this is working out now. Well, do you want to use either of your cards in reserve first? Oh, 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 oh. It could be useful. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yes. This is going to be nasty. So I'm going to use a card on that wounded scout. Mm -hmm. uh, he's also going to take the aura of courage to give him those plus ones. Yep. So I believe it's this. Yep. Uh, he's going to use energy of despair. Okay. Uh, this warrior gains plus one attack, plus one move, and plus one defense if okay. at least three of their lines of activation are cancelled. Okie dokie. So he's getting that and that again. Yep. So he is currently on four movement, three attack, mm -hmm. and five defense. Okie dokie. Yeah. So right. <laughs> I like that. Anybody else? Uh, no. I think that's okay. Right, so and so now I'm on to my draw. So yep, I'm drawing draw. two cards. Mm -hmm. uh, am I two cards? Yes, two cards. Okay, I'm just going to read these. Sense of Sacrifice, this warrior gains body card, which can be used as a two, mm -hmm. or on the defensive, this warrior gains impressive talent, which is nice. Yeah. So, time to get uh, physical, Shimmy on. Physical. Yeah, 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 physical, physical. Mm. All right, so uh, I'll start with the Redeemer, who, ooh, I just realized the thing. Yes. Because you've loaded in so heavy, I can't get everybody out. No. So who's got the best defense? Four. Place. Have you considered Four. leaving the scout behind to die, and no at the same time leaving fast. leaving the redeemer behind to die and leaving the brute behind? Just leave them all behind to die. Uh, my thing I've got is, a special place in hell for you, <laughs> literally. <laughs> I think who I'm going to leave behind is actually the brute. Okay. So the redeemer is going to activate and take a swing for two dice. Mm -hmm. Uh, those two dice will go on to a troglodyte because my hope is killing them down before moving. Yes. I can maybe get can more maybe people out. More. Yep. Yep. So, dun, dun, dun. the trogs have got a mighty defense of three. Of three. Should get it. I get it. So, one dead. So, you got a, a five. Yep. So, and a two. Trog so dead. The two ignored. The cannibalistic corridor doubles up. Oh. Two dead. Ah, but does damage bleed like that because it's a target? It does for trogs. Does it? Yep. Only for trogs in this instance. Okay. For the cannibal corpse sector. Awesome. Well, uh, the redeemer is going to move mm -hmm. out to here. Yep. So he's shimmying along. I'll then activate the brute. Yes. Uh, the brute is going to swing for three mm -hmm. on the puppy. Okie dokie. My defense is five. Five. Whoa. Yes. Wow. Okay. Isn't it though? Isn't it? Couldn't it have been? Uh, I get one, becomes you get two. One. It does become two, you're correct. Uh, which is fine. I do like the little skulls to mark your damage. No, it's, it's cute. Yeah. Uh, then he's going to move out. Okie dokie. And then the last one to go is that Wounded Scout. Wounded Scout. Who is going to attack you yep. for three dice. Mm -hmm. So, be lucky. Be, as you say, lucky. Uh, that'll be four Very damage. lucky. Four damage. That's a poor dead hellhound. Yes. I'm going to get hell pita on you. <laughs> so, which is just like regular pita. But in hell? No, it's just, it's just like regular pita. <laughs> <laughs> come on, me, Peter. <laughs> okay, so that hellhound is now gone he's and gone, dead he's and dead. cannot come Can't, back. Yeah. Go on, right. So now this guy, because he is super duper speedy because of the abilities I've put on him, mm -hmm. he can move four. Yes. So he is going to go... Uno, dos, yes. tres. Okay, which will move us on one. Give me a T junction. Ooh, interesting. Which I, 
I could put it that way, so it just ends in a dead end there. Mm. Just but if you, if you end a dead end yeah. there, it means you can't jump in from here and you have further to go to get at me. Yeah, I'll throw it that way. All right. And I'll keep the wind going that way. Okay. Because it saves me stretching. Okay, uh, Scotty Scout has moved to here. He's got one point left, so he will go to the next one up. Okie dokie. So I'm just trying to keep everything moving around here, folks, so you can see what's going on. Mm -hmm. Choices. I'm going to go with that because oh. I, I have to connect two of them. Aye. So you're only going to get one exit anyway, and it's either going to be there or going to be there. It's not going to change. Um, yeah. But that does have a fountain on it. And What's a fountain do? Oh, it bubbles water through normally. When this tile is placed in the game area, two miraculous water tokens are placed on it. At the start of one of the preparation phases before rolling the die, the human player can discard one of these tokens to heal a line of activation of their choice from a warrior on this tile. Right. The corresponding damage marker is removed. The healing effect can be carried out twice. So that's kind of annoying. So yeah. I, I will have to eat your Wounded Scout before he gets up there and starts drinking from that. Yeah, well, that is the Wounded Scout. Is so that these Mr. tokens scout? go on oh, here. That's good. And then we also have these two tokens, which actually show whenever you've used it, you actually just pop it down on. Okay, <laughs> well, that, that went better than expected. Kind of annoying. I'm a little bit annoyed. Yeah, well, you've uh, got a troglodyte right next to me as a pain. One, two, three, half, yeah. But five, isn't it? My defense is currently five, which is damn tasty, I would say. Yeah, six has always worked, though. That's a yeah. one in three chance. Yeah, yeah. Now, for damage, is it just meet it or beat it? Meet it. Okay. Uh, well, my turn's done. Okay. So I'm going to scoop up my. Oh, actually. Hang activation on. dice. Hang on. Yep. This guy didn't activate. Okay. And he's currently got a move of one. So he's just going to go to here. All right. To make life a little more difficult for you. Just a bit more of a challenge. Not really. <laughs> Not really. Okay. So you've got your three to roll? I've got my three to roll. Our Be survey lucky. says... In the tray. In the tray. In the tray, I say, sir. They can't read the numbers from the tray. Yeah, they can. No, you just can't. <laughs> Tell me what they say. What's the red one say? Come on, people at home. What's that? <laughs> See? It's a two. That's a two because you're right over it. <laughs> so, but more importantly, two whites and a red. Yes. Dun, 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 dun. Could go supernatural speed mm -hmm. on a trog. That would double their movement. Could do that. That would be funny. Why? It's what's funny. Oh, that would be... Oh, I mean, that that would just be the worst ever. Don't be a douche. All right, bring it in. Let's see what you're uh, up to. Hang on, hang on. Easy, Tiger. Yeah. I'll bring it in a second. <laughs> All right. So, so. What are you doing here? So we're going to Abyssal Threat twice. Uh-huh. Which will give me. Six. Six of the finest points. Uh-huh. And then I will Oof. also Dark Destiny for two points of card. Uh... So, we've got all hope is lost. Play this card during the threat phase. Uh -huh. Until the beginning of the next threat phase, none of the human warriors have the elusive talent, while all the troglodytes have elusive. Oof. Or, suicide attack. Play this card during a troglodyte attack. They gain plus two attack and are killed after resolving the attack. So you just throw somebody in and throw three dice and hope to do some damage. <laughs> That's an interesting one. It I is. I do like that. I'm going to keep that one. <laughs> Uh, not for this turn. No, because my defense is stupid. Yeah, but also there is the possibility that we're in frenzy. My troglodytes later on, mm. uh, and that works for every trog on the board, and they get to re-roll oh. failed hits. So T tag team it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think at some point somebody's going to get eaten. So I've got six to play with here, mm -hmm. uh, which could be six trogs. So I could fill the board with trogs, or, or actually no, I've got seven, or I can. Drop five out. Uh -huh. Bring the hunter in there. Oh! And then two more for two more trogs. And Where are you going to bring them in? Says, well, I know you're coming this way currently, and since the board is donutted, eh? I'll do that. I have to come at you. And I'll put one there. 
Uh huh. Joe, no, no, not necessarily there. No, no, no. Keep him in camera shot. Oh, that's not my fault. You keep moving the board. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, it's it's one of those things with an expanding board game. You know, you kind of want to keep everything in shot. Yeah, uh, just back the board up. Right. Yeah. Let's go with this then. Uh huh. Right. So first things first. Uh huh. This one here. Uh huh. Is going to go into this board here. <laughs> It's that bad, is it? That's terrible. That's terrible, yeah, Jerry. You're, yeah. you're a horrible human being. I am a horrible human being. He's going to attack your brute. Actually, who's, brute. who's currently on the best armor between your brute and your redeemer? It's even. So they're and both, the redeemer is already hurt. So they're both on four. Yep. And he's already hurt, you say? Oh, well, yeah. we'll chuck another one at the redeemer then. Yeah, bodyguard. So four. Oh, well, that's okay then. Yeah. It's a five, yeah. so it's a hit. And it'll go on the, the brute because he has bodyguard. Excellent. Two hits. Yeah. Carnivorous tunnel. Yeah, I'll I'll quite happily take that. That's so will I. So I will pop one Every there. Every point of damage is great in hell. And one there. Well, you know, it's hell. It's fun. It is. All right, who's next? I'm going to say, have you met my lovely trog? I have not met your lovely trog. All right. He's a gem, complete peach. And a five. Requires a five. Doesn't get it. Doesn't get it. What about his trog friend? <laughs> Let's find out. He doesn't. Three. And then the big boss. And Hunter will come in as well. Yeah, for four dice. For four dice because you're a little bit wounded. I'm halfway dead. Halfway, as you say, dead. Oof. Only one more. the one. Only the one. I, I will take that. That's all right. To the bank, I will take that. So I will put this into the number five or the number six slot. Mm -hmm. I've taken out my card draw on this guy, but I've done it deliberately because the two that I've kept on him or two movement. And I just want him going, nope, 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 nope. Whoop. Playing for the draw. That's very dull. <laughs> That's very dull. Playing for the draw. Ah. Uh, all right. Mm -hmm. Is that you done? That's me done. All right, I have to roll my dice. Oh, that hurts. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we can do here. Mm -hmm. oh. um, I can work with that. So one, two, three, and a four. So, uh, the one I will put onto this unhurt scout. Yep. Because that'll give him his best attack. The two I'll put onto the Redeemer for Aura of Courage. Oof, the four I'll put onto the Wounded Scout. And the three can go on to the Condemned Brute, and that means I'm not having to worry about any of them being on damaged lines. Okay, okay. So I'm assuming then you're not using any of the cards to modify those? Uh, I don't think I need to, but what I can do is get rid of this. Yes. And on that Wounded Condemned Scout, I'm going to play Resistance, or Resistant, mm -hmm. uh, which means he ignores the first point of damage done to him. Okay. Uh, I think... You'll also lose your my plus one, plus one, plus one. Oh, yeah, yeah, the triple plus one tokens. Yeah, there's quite a few of those in the box. So they're actually quite lovely, and they're really handy for actually just reminding you what extra stats you have. Mm. Uh, right. So, yeah, he's got that. And then also going to be playing another one, which is Sense of Sacrifice, so I can give somebody Bodyguard, which mm -hmm. I'm going to put on the other scout. Mm-hmm. And I think that'll do for that. Uh, card draw, I get one for the Brute. Yes. And I get one for the Redeemer. Yep. So I've got Energy of Despair again. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Uh, so that's a plus one, plus one, plus one. And I've got Skill, which is just a plus one. And I can make that a five or a four. So that's handy enough. All right, activations then. Yes. Uh, the Redeemer mm -hmm. is going to give himself the plus one, plus one, plus one. Okay. Or should I? No, I'm going to put it onto the the scout that's got the blunderbuss. Okay. Because I think that could be pretty handy. Uh, so he's going to activate first, and from here he's going to shoot with the blunderbuss at your big guy. At the hunter? Okay. Yeah, at the hunter. So he's starting with three, plus one for the blunderbuss, plus one for the aura. 
Yep. Now, quickly check Aura of Courage and make sure that it can be passed to anybody on the N table. Not just adjacent, is that what we're thinking? Yeah, just in case. You do it in your preparation phase, and it's just another allied warrior. Right, so it can um, be anybody. Yeah, the effect of the warrior starts at the end of the preparation phase of the human player. Choose another allied warrior until the beginning of your next preparation phase. You get that. does mean he can't use it on himself, from yes. the way that's worded. Yes, but five dice attack. Mm -hmm. You require fours. I'll take that. Uh, that'll be three damage. Okie dokie. Which is not bad. No, that's, you know, almost halfway there. Yeah, living on a prayer. Considering he gets to come back again. Uh -huh. Imagine prayers in hell. Don't, <laughs> don't swear in front of me. Uh, all right, so uh, he has two movements, so he'll go one. Mm -hmm. Elusive for two. We'll push him on up. Okay. To the next one of these. Brings us to turn six on the tracker. Yeah. Right. Oh. Anything interesting? It's some form of terrible Christian altar. Oh, uh, lovely. I'll put it in there. Let's pop it there. Uh, he's here. You're there. Now, for the healing things, do I have to spend an action to pick those up? Yeah. Um, well, no. Actually, you just do it in preparation phase, I believe. Oh, right. If you're in there. Oh, right. Healing so fountain. At the start of one of the preparation phases, before rolling the dice, you can do it. Okay. So you can uh, heal one line. Right. So I would do so, that. So, yeah, if you want to go ahead and do that. Yeah, sorry well, for that, folks. That's all right. So I'll use one of them. Obviously, the Angel Scout yeah. was in there, yeah. and I'm he'll take it on the okay. number six. I, because of that, oh. I'm, I'm going to do that and do really? it around. You're yeah. going to make me run around again? Yeah, well, you know, that'll teach you for healing yourself. <sighs> uh, okay, so right. that uh -huh. is a sanctuary. 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 The human player rolls a die for each of the infernal warriors who enters the tile. If it's higher than five, uh -huh. that warrior suffers a hit. Ooh. So I get burnt by some oh, sort of yeah, terrible yeah. Christian tomb that's in there. Lovely. I don't know why we haven't salted the earth and burnt the bones of that. <laughs> we'll deal with that next time. Don't, uh -huh. worry. don't worry. I'll All right. That. Well, the, the next thing I'm going to do then mm -hmm. is the wounded scout yes. is going to attack. Attack a pack. Yeah, he'll attack the... The hunter. Mm -hmm. He's only got one attack die, which is a shame. And you but on a four, I can four kill him. Yeah. So partially kill him, banish him. All right. Well, for a four, bye bye. That's all right. He'll be back. Don't worry. Get out of my dungeon. My dungeon. <laughs> You'll pay for that. <laughs> what? Next time, gadget. Next time. Yeah. Uh, ne well, next turn, gadget. Next turn. <laughs> all right. So he has a movement of two, which mm. is great. So he'll go up to here, mm -hmm. and then he'll explore into here. Right. You terrible, terrible man, forcing me to donut. You are a donut. <laughs> <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> oh, oh, look at that. <sighs> you, could have, you could have beaten all of this if you just walked the other way at the start. Now, because you're coming back to somewhere you've already been, Aye. this means this goes to the previous tile and nearest available unexplored exit. I so see. it will so be this there. one. If right. there wasn't an exit here, you would go back to the next tunnel. You just have to find the closest. Yeah. So basically, it's the world swirling or the wind swirling through the tunnel. Yeah. Right. We've got something special on this: an alarm bell. An alarm bell. What's it do? So, alarm bell, as you imagine, is an alarm. As soon as a hero goes in there, mm -hmm. uh, the infernal player rolls an additional die of destiny, uh -huh. and I place a die on the alarm tile space after the resolution has been triggered. So essentially, instead of having three activation dice next turn, uh -huh. I will have a bonus one. Oh, well, that sucks. So, well. For me. Actually, I'll roll it now. Our survey says it is going to be a white two. So that's a bonus for me for next uh -huh. time. And that alarm has been triggered. It only goes off once. OK, well, that's good. So that just means that's out of the way. Yeah. All right. So the next thing I have to do is way down at the front of the board here. I need to start bringing these guys back. Question is, which way do I want to do it? Through the carnivorous tunnel of death. How about no? So uh, I'll actually shimmy this all up again so everybody can see what we're up to. Uh, to there. Hey, shimmy, shimmy. So uh, I'll activate the brute first. He will take a swing at the troglodyte mm -hmm. for three. Okay. What's it got? It's 
got a terrible stain down its back of its leg, but <laughs> it's also got a defensive three. Okay, so looking for a three. If it helps that stains your friend. It's very dead. It is very dead. And from there, he'll move to here. Okay. Or, sorry, he will move to here, and the Redeemer will also move to there. They're right. both on a move of one at the moment. Okay. But that's okay. And that'll be turn for me. All right. Nice. Yes. Would you uh, like to roll your dice? I would like to roll my dice. I also have a question. Yes. Can I wee in the Holy Miraculous Fountain and corrupt that last one so nobody can heal on the way past? I no? don't think so. No, just checking. Yeah. It was a question that demanded an answer. Yeah. The fact you've got to stay in there for a turn to use it means you probably won't want to. Yeah. So that gets lifted, that gets lifted. That's my three. That's you my bonus. Your, your bonus too, yeah. What are you getting? So a couple of whites and a red. Yeah, well, it does give you three whites if you got a trigger, I think. I don't think there's anything I want to trigger with three whites. Okay. But I could be wrong. You could use it just to get a ton of threat. I might have to. Mm. I might have to. Well, What's our survey say? Here. Well, that could be funny. For what? me, not for you. What could be me. funny? So if I go not dead hellhound. Yeah. And we'll put him on a one. Uh huh. And then I'll go, let's have some abyssally threat. Uh huh. And let's have a bit more abyssally threat. I do like the Dark Destiny cards. Uh huh. But. I'd really like the Abyssly Threat instead. Ah, uh, okay. You can just stay there for a moment. Oh, wow, card. you're just going full on? Yeah, so trigger that. Trigger that. That will give me nine of the finest when that's triggered. Uh huh. Nine or, you know, a Hellhound plus a Hunter <laughs> plus a Troglodyte, as oh. it's known in France. I assume. I don't know. I've never asked the French. But nine is there. Okay. Right. Who wants it? You all want it. Who's currently. Uh, so the, this Condemned Scout has taken three. So that's the three Condemned Scout. Yeah. That's good. This has taken none. That's taken none, but it's also in the sanctuary of, oh my God, my feet, my feet, they're on fire. <laughs> yeah, the Brit's taken two. Okay. And the Redeemer has taken one. All right, okay. So it's, it's kind of a mad dash. The Scouts are just going, hell with you guys, you're too slow. Whereas the other guys are wading in behind going, it's all right, it's all right, everything's attacking them. Okay, I will chuck that uh -huh. for... Hellhound the second. All right, where's he going to come in? He's going to come in there. Oh. Because why would he not? Yeah, and Hunter? And no, no, I'm going to um, chuck a couple of additional trogs. Oh, right. And then leave a few there so I can get the Hunter out next turn. I see. So. A couple more trogs, where are they going? A couple more trogs. In there. I have to go in there. And All right. There. And then that's that out of the way. And it's just a case of activations. Yes. So. Mr. Bond. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> Let's start with Hellhound yep. on Scout. Uh -huh. So currently this Hellhound with his adaptive ability has got three attacks Kay. and a you defense of four. are going to be looking for threes. That's good. However, I do ignore the first point of damage. That's all right. As long as I can do one Okay. after the fact, that's uh -huh. enough. You know. So Two, so I'll do one point of damage yep. to you. Uh, I will pop it into his number six slot. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. I will suicide a trog. Oh! So that will give him three attacks, because otherwise he'd only be doing one and you'll ignore it anyway for yep. resilience. So I'll get three. And hope to do two. And hope to do two again. Oh. oh. So you've done two total. I've done two. Uh, I think I'll, it was... It may have been one of those. Okay. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. So, so you've done two, so we'll take one. Take one. Uh, I'll pop it into his number five slot. And the poor trog will suicide itself. Bye-bye. I assume he just hit you so hard the hammer bounced back and into his own face. Possibly. That possibly. would make sense. You know, you, you do kind of imagine the trogs, they're just kind of like gremlins running around. Mm. You know, they find a sharp rock and just, you know, kill themselves on it by mm. accident. Because that's how trogs are. So I'm going to throw one in there. Okay, so I have to roll you a five roll up. You have to roll five up first to see whether or not I explode. Yeah, do you burn? You do not burn. That's good, and I will now attack you. What's your defense? Uh, so that is on Unwounded Scout. Yep. Is currently four. Defense four, so four, four more. Yep. It'll do. I'll take a point. Uh, so I will drop my number two. Okay. I will then go another Again. trog in there. 
Okay, so another draw again, and I have to see if you burn. Yep. Burn. Burn! He does burn. Nice. And for my last activation, this trog will just move to there. Yeah. And we'll just sit there, mm -hmm. meaning that you have to at least go through them. Yeah. That's okay. Okay. That's not a bad phase. I'll take that. All right. Uh, back to mine. So back to my rolling for my activations. Mm -hmm. Oh, that one scout. That one per scout. Uh, let's see what we can do with this. Uh, not exactly what I was hoping for. Because oh, actually no, it's okay. Because. I've got a four, mm -hmm. so I can put it on that, that seriously hurt scout and get him to boogie out the way. Uh, I'll put the six onto my other scout. Um, I'll put the two onto the redeemer, because that's going to give him aura of courage again. Mm -hmm. And that puts the one onto the brute. Okay. Uh, lose your old cards and yes. bonuses. Yes, and I'll see if there's any more I want to lay down. Uh, don't want to change any of that. We'll do as well. I am going to put Energy of Despair onto the Hurt Scout mm -hmm. to give him plus one movement, giving him a total of three. Yep. Uh, the other Scout will get Skill for a plus one. Mm -hmm. And I will keep the other one. And so for draw, I'm drawing one, two. What do I get? So I get Vigilance for plus one defense. And Intuition, the Warrior gains uh, Prescience. And I can turn that into a six or a three if I need to. Okay. So that's, that's not awful. No. Okay. Uh, we will begin with Seriously Hurt Scout. Yes. Who's going to take a swing at that puppy. Okay. For two dice. You do you. He's only got a defense of four at the moment. That's not bad. Uh, can I hurt him? I hurt him twice. You hurt him twice. That's right. I'll take that. He knew the risks. Yep. And then Mr. Scout here is going to go for Uno, mm -hmm. and then two to go out here. Are we doing? So he's going to go into here. What we got? We have a turn. Don't want you to come to me. Come to you. Come to me. Come to it makes no odds, really. And keep things going that way. All right, so he's in there. Nothing special on this tile, which no, is fine. No, just a nice 90 degree turn. Yeah. The wind is now that way. <laughs> that yeah. is the way out. All right, so Mr. Scout number two mm -hmm. uh, is going to attack for three dice uh, here onto this trog. Yes. So looking for a three. Yes. Boop. Uh, he gets one. it. Yep. Just enough. And then he has a movement of one. So he's just going to bumble up here. Uh, the other guys down the far end both only have a move of one. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually. Uh, yeah, hang on. Move of one. Move of one. Yep, that's fine. So bumble, bumble up there. Okay. And that'll be turn for me. That's you. Okay. Nice. So I'll lift those. And mm -hmm. um, we'll see what we can do to hamper you somewhat. Mm. I do like the way this board grows. Yeah. Also, it's something to think about when you're laying the tiles down mm. as the infernal player. Yeah. If you just go herring off across the table. You're going to run out of table. Well, it's not even that you're going to run out of table. If, depending on the scenario, because you can only spawn in limited up places where there are unexplored regions, if yeah. I've gone too far away and I'm forced to spawn at this tile, but this was a straight line just going off. Ah, uh, yeah, so you're spawning I'd here. I'd be spawning here and having to run six tiles. Yeah. If you keep them compact and wind them round, it means you're always staying in the game. Yeah, and, and I can see that you're, you're always looking for ways to get an outside edge on yeah. there. So, good times. Uh -huh. We have a one, a two, and a three, White, white, red. Uh -huh. um, oh, forgot to lift that one off that. That's okay. I didn't roll any extra. Uh -huh. uh, I do feel like chicken tonight. <laughs> chicken tonight. I need more stuff on the board. Mm -hmm. One will get me the hunter. Uh -huh. uh, one will activate my Hellhound. Uh -huh. What's its movement? Uh, depending on what I use, either one or three. Uh -huh. In fact, your scouts are too far away, so we'll go for the three. Mm -hmm. Try and track them down. Yeah. If I'm lucky, I might be able to burn it as it runs through the, yeah. the Holy Burial Ground. It's not beyond the realms of possibility. That's an annoying 
yeah. thing to have there. But, you know, hey-ho. These things are set to try us, and I think, I think I may have to throw another Abyssal Threat die in there. Okay. I don't, I don't possibly need the threat right now, but I can't see any reason. I could pre-prime the board for something else. Mm. I could throw actually one into Frenzy, uh -huh. and then next turn. Be re-rolling? Get a re-roll for mm. the, uh, the Trogos. Yeah. We'll try that. We'll see how that goes. Okay. So, Activating that, which yeah. will give me three points, which, which brings me to five. Spend it on the hunter. Which I'll spend on the hunter. Yeah, where's he going to drop in at? Well, he has to drop in there. I see. And then, there we go. my hellhound. Mm -hmm. Want to roll for him? Okay, so he's walked into, into the holy place. Wearing. Yeah, there's probably just Quasimodo waiting in there with a the belly club. It doesn't go well for him oh, at the end. No. I'll re-roll that. That's right. For a five. Five. Oh, Burn. shocking. Burns. Burns this is the Sanctuary. Sanctuary. You know he dies at the end, as does Esmeralda. Yes. Um, Don't in, believe Disney kids. Yeah, D Everybody Disney lied dies. to me. Disney lied to me. Uh, okay. So the hunter. Uh-huh. He'll head in that direction. One uh. will take him there. One will take him there. Burn his bottoms. Burn. No, no. So he's okay. He doesn't burn today. You know. He's all right, and Trogo will attack. Can oh, why? Well, Trogo's going down for the attack. Why not? Okay. You know, it's either that or I let you walk in and hit him without yeah, yeah. getting a defence. So I may as well attack. Yeah, so what are your current defences for your Redeemer yeah. and your Brute? Uh, so four mm -hmm. on Mister Redeemer. Yes. Three on Mister Brute. Oh, I think I'll attack the Brute. Oh, I think I'll <laughs> try and do that in there. Oh, that'll do it. Nice. Okay, uh, so that'll be a point. Where do I want to take it? I will take it a on question? numbers. Dude! Unnecessary. I'll take it on number six. Okay. Which is his big defensive stance. Which is unfortunate, but yep. necessary. Dunsky? That is me. All right, I'm back to rolling. Mm-hmm. Seven, yes. Should be one further along on the tracker. Uh huh. Uh, two, two, five, one. Two, mm. two, five, one. I'm just going to move my dead yeah. hellhound boards out of the way so I'm not looking at them all the time. Oh, this sucks. So bad. Bring this in. Okay, so I get. I'll put the two onto Redeemer. Mm -hmm. I'll put the one. On to Has there been a turn where the Redeemer hasn't Brute? been on two? Honestly, no. I've been very lucky with this, just <laughs> keeping that up. He must have popped a Viagra before he got in. I would imagine so. Uh, five or a two on this one. It'll be a five on this scout. Yep. Don't want to and be exhausted. it'll be a two on the other scout. Unfortunately, he's on one where he would be exhausted. Okay. These will come away. Yep. Now, I have to place this token down. And it's really, really, really unfortunate because look what it does. It takes away my movement, takes away my attack, and leaves me on three defense. Shame. However, yes. I have a cunning plan. Mm. Aura of Courage mm. on him. Yes. Which brings him up plus one, plus one, plus one to keep him moving. Okay. Don't think that's how it works. I'll double check. But have you considered using your once per game heal on him instead, which would just remove that entire column. Uh, when heal. can I use it? It's once per game and you just kick it off. So for blessed, well, warrior with this talent can in the preparation phase after the activation dice have been assigned. So now uh -huh. bless somebody, you get plus one move plus two or plus two attack. And if you were on a line that was canceled, you're uh -huh. healed. All right, I'll do that. Um, although I will check to see whether or not your aura would work in that instance, because I think exhausted means exhausted. Exhausted means you can't move. Mm. You know, the fact you can't move doesn't make them plus one, plus one means he can't move, but he's got a plus one bonus. Uh, well, you see, the, the way I'm looking at it is it's changing your stats specifically. So by doing something to change the stats back, but I, I what know, does exhausted I know say? I, I know what you're saying. Yeah. But Again, I'm being just a little bit gamey. Yeah, oh, you're being incredibly gamey. <laughs> 
So Ex this is exhausted why warrior with an exhausted state token on their board has the following stat line. In addition, you can't use any talents and draw no instinct cards. Do not get the benefit of any advantages linked to their equipment cards or anything else. However, you can benefit from eventual bonuses to their stats. So you could give the yeah. plus ones. Yeah. So it's up to you then. You can either. I don't know. Heal I, him. I will heal him just because that that hunter is red on my ass. On your ass. And in fact, in fact, the plus one, plus one, plus one is actually going to go on the condemned brute. Okay. Because I think he can do some damage. So that'll do. Mm -hmm. uh, do I have any draws? I have one for him. Mm -hmm. None for anybody else. But that'll be for next round. But I need to check and see if I want to put any of these down first. Yep. Uh, Yes, uh, so on the Wounded Scout, he's going to get plus one to his defense, bringing it to a five. Okay. Uh, and what does your uh, hunter have for abilities? You know, uh, impressive or... Uh, yeah, none of those. None of those? No. Awesome. Awesome. This this should work beautifully then. Uh, I'm not going to use any of these. I've got my new one, which is Intuition, gain prescience, or turn it into a six. This is fine. So, first thing I'm going to do, yes. I am going to activate the Redeemer. Mm -hmm. The Redeemer will swing with two dice at that little troglodyte that's standing in front of him, just gibbering. Okie dokie. So. Threes. Have at you. He's dead. Kills him. Redeemer will then move by one. Yep. Up to here. Okay. My Condemned Brute is mm -hmm. going to move one, two, because yep. of his bonus. Yep. And then he's going to swing at your... Hunter. Hunter for five. Okay. Defense. Four. Uh, three. That'll be three, yeah. yeah. Okie dokie. This is fine by me. I will then activate the Condemned Scout with the Blunderbuss. Yes. Who will attack for two dice. Okie dokie. Uh, that'll be one more damage. That'll be one more damage. If you need. Poor Hunter is dead. Yay! And then, so he is this one. Yep. Oh, sorry. Uh, da, 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 da. The one problem with boards like this. Should have had a bigger camera. Should have had a bigger camera. But that's okay. So, we can see everybody. So, He's dead there. Mm -hmm. This guy can move through to here where the wind's going. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, new symbol. What's new symbol. This, what's this new symbol? And in this case, seems to be some sort of big body of water. Uh -huh. It's a flooded tunnel. When you enter the tile, they must immediately end their movement even if they've not used all their movement yet. Oh. Leaving this tile will cost the warrior their full movement allowance. So. I see. Well, that sucks, but such is life. It's not so much that it's cold, it's that it's deep. Yeah. Uh, the other scout who's wounded will move in alongside him as well. Okie doke. And that'll be turned. That will be turned. Yeah. Just let me tidy my board up here a little bit. Yeah. Again, another thing about trying to film growing boards under camera, you don't know which way they're going to grow. No. Yeah, what are you going to get? It's all trogs now. It is all trogs all the time. So, oops, a daisy. Terrible thing. Uh -huh. So, two whites and a red. Mm -hmm. Red's good because it could give me frenzy. Can you get an into frenzy? Maybe not this old. turn. Mm -hmm. So, see, I would maybe put that red into your reserve and hold it around for next turn. And then you've just guaranteed that you're in frenzy. Yeah, but I'm guaranteed now. But you don't have anything that can get at me. Yeah, but I don't have to trigger that now. I, I think it just automatically triggers. Does it automatically trigger? Yeah, right, so in that case, I'd I pop it into the reserve, the reserve and then you'll pull out one of your extra die. Yeah. Also, why do you have four there? Oh, yeah, you already had one die. Yeah, I already had one die. Yeah. So, in that case, generate my abyssal threat. Of six. Of six. And I assume there are six little trog. Six little troglies coming. 
Yeah. And we'll go three trogs there. Okay. Oh, right, right behind me. And three trogs here. Okay. And then mm -hmm. I'll start moving, I think. Okay. Well, I get the feeling the brute's about to die. Or not. Well, there we go there. Uh huh. Well, I can't get to the brute in one turn because. Oh yeah, here. yeah. Sorry, I meant the redeemer. Yeah. Well, mostly because of the blocking. Yeah. There's no point in putting them in on the redeemer. Then I can't move the guys behind them. Ah uh, yes. So. So yeah, they'll move up in. He'll go in. What's your redeemer's current? Currently, this redeemer mm. is on a defense of four. Okay. So first one wounds. Okay, I will put that on my five. Next one. Second one. For a two. Doesn't wound. Uh -huh. And last Third one. one. What's he going to do? Uh, for wound. five, will wound. Oof, ouch. Um, and you kind of have me trapped there because I might numbered now, don't you? Yep. Damn it. Um, tell you what, I'll just put it into... Oof. I'll put it in the six. Yep. It's okay. Done? That's me. Okay. Uh, I have to roll my dice and see what I get. Oh. Ooh. Okay. So that's five, 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 one. Oh, no, sorry. Six, five, five, one. So I think I'll put the six into the unhurt scout. Mm-hmm. Well, he's took one point. The five will go on to a brute. The one will go on, or sorry, put the one on the brute. No, no, put the one on <laughs> the redeemer. And then that leaves a five that's to go on to the condemned scout. But I'm gonna use one of my cards to change that, hopefully. Yes, change it to a two. And nobody's knocked out this round, which is fine. Okay. Uh, I have... No cards? No draw, but I have two cards in hand. Oh no, you do have a draw. Your blunderbuss card. Oh uh, yeah. But you well, get that after your assigned yeah. cards, yeah. assuming you're not assigning any others. Yeah. So I've got charged. Warrior gains plus two attack if they engaged in combat after having moved one tile. Okay. That's fine. So, I think this is the point where the convicts just abandon the redeemer to his fate. I'll teach him for picking up scum in hell. <laughs> Never go curb crawling in hell, kids. <laughs> you just find the worst. Yeah, well, what's going to happen is then... Uh, so he is going to take a swing at them for three dice. Okay. Now, I could kill all three if I'm lucky. Yes. I actually am lucky. All That'll three be dead. All three dead. Pip, pop, pop. So he's actually free to move. Oh, actually, he would have healed this round as well. In the preparation phase? Yes. Yep. So I'll take it off of his five to get yep. prescience back. But that's used. Uh, then he's got a move of one. Mm -hmm. So he'll just move up to here. Yep. Uh, then we're looking on through the rest of the dungeon. So let's slide it in. Uh, the brute then, I think instead of running, he's going to go for it and come into these. Okay. That's good. So Saves me having to chase you down. Two dice. Yep. Looking at threes. Uh, one dice. One. I'll take it. Okay. That's uh, what I've heard. Yep. Uh, then one of my scouts will use all his movement to get out here. Mm -hmm. So let's just show me all of this across a bit. Give me a new tile. Oof. Which way do you want the wind to go? Doesn't matter. Uh, I'll go that way. All right. Alarm though. Yeah. Yeah. Diverse alarm. So that's always good. Clean. Family fun. Yeah, so you that's get good. a bonus dice next round. I do get a bonus dice next round. Yep. Pop him in there so I remember. Yep, so have it, this one went. The other one's going to use all of his movement to get out. Okay. And that'll be turn. Okay. Oh, also, I think this was gone. Possibly. Yeah, because I, I changed his location. Okay. So. I do have a chance to get my ass out of hell. Because we are now on 10, so the next tile revealed... The next tile is... The exit. Is the exit. Mm -hmm. um, which means, unless I can pull some demonic chicken out of my arse... 
I don't think I can stop your two scouts getting away. Well, you've got a bonus die, and I you've got one on the reserve. Do. Now, does that reserve sit there round to round, I wonder? Yeah, because it doesn't trigger, so it would just yeah. sit there. I, unless you go below three dice in your activation pool, because you uh. have to be able to draw three. Yeah, um, it just sits. It will sit. I see. So, so you've got technically oh, five dice. Don't want to pick this that round to one use. Um, well, you've got one over there. Yeah, yeah, so but I didn't want to pick that one up because it was already so yeah, 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 primed. Yeah. Um, so I'll do that, plus my alarm dice. Yeah. And then I hopefully get some sort of nasty dark destiny card that will allow me to throw well, people in on top of you. Teleport in front of me and murder me at the last that second. That type of thing, yeah. yeah. Ooh. So, uh, three whites and a red. Yeah. I'm going to knock that flying, but there you go. So our survey says... Yeah, you've also got the one you held in reserve, because yeah. it can be put out now as well. Yeah. So you've technically got five dice to assign. It will go into Frenzy. Uh-huh. Uh, I'll definitely put a three into Dark Destiny to give me the best chance of finding some interesting cards. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm currently looking at six Trogos, but a lot of that will come down to what the Destiny cards are. Yeah, you also so could I'm actually not put your, your charge on. Well, I'm definitely putting the charge on. Um, and I'll throw one into Abyssal Threat. Hold. You could actually take what you have here. Yes. Is there not one of these charges that you could add it all together to jump it on top of me? You seem to not have done it the entire game, and I'm just thinking, is it something you I, could pull off here? I, I haven't done it the entire game. You're right. Intrepid Charge could do it. If you can get the number. Ah. I, I'm just making sure you haven't forgot it. Could do it, could do it, and then I wouldn't need to worry about my speed. Mm -hmm. Seven it gives me only one card in there, but that could be amusing nonetheless. Yeah. So we'll do that, that, that uh -huh. to give me a single Dark Destiny card. Yeah. Our survey says, under the sign of the demon, play it during a threat phase. That'll be coming up. Choose a demon or hellhound. Don't have any of those. Uh -huh. Until the beginning of the next phase, I get plus one, plus one, plus one. Uh. Ah, that would have been nice. Yeah. Shame I didn't get that yeah. when I had some of those. Um, so, yeah, Trogos. Yeah. We'll start the bidding with three. Uh -huh. One, two, three. And they'll be straight in there. Yeah. Um, maxing out the tile. Maxing out the tile. And I've got three more remaining. Mm -hmm. I'll go one into there. Uh huh. And actually, put all three into there because okay. I can't get them anywhere else that's yeah. clever. I've I've kind of got lucky with the way the board has been a little bit closed off. Yeah, especially this as a bottleneck. Yeah. The fact that my hellhound burnt itself to death running through yeah. that grave yeah. was a bit irritating, but hey ho. Yeah. So. That's that. Yeah. Let's do some attacks. Uh huh. Let's do the important one first. So, Brute. <laughs> What's your defense currently, Brute? Uh, Brute currently has defense five. Defense uh, six, actually. Defense six. Nice. Yeah. So, nope. It's a miss. Reroll for Frenzy. Uh huh. Still a miss. Yeah. Second one. Uh huh. Miss. Reroll Re for Frenzy. Frenzy. Nope. Still a miss. Denied. On the Zen. One. Yeah, because why wouldn't you move on? Miss. In? Nope. And uh, no. And a miss. Little Trogos. He'll activate. Uh, He'll activate. Yeah. He'll pee in that fountain again. <laughs> and then just for spite and just malice. Just for spite. And then we come up here. Yes, yeah, so you've got so two of them up here. Who currently is the most wounded? Uh, it is this condemned scout here, yep. who is on a defense of four. The other one is sitting on defense five. Right, that's okay. So defense four scout then. All right. First Trogo. Uh huh. Hit it. Nope. Miss. Frenzy. Frenzy says... Miss. Nope. Second Trogo. Uh-huh. Miss. Miss. Hits. Takes one. Takes a point. Uh, I will put it in... the two. And last Trogo. He might die here. No. Nope. Misses. Anything? No. no. Yes, he lives. He lives. And they're elusive. More importantly... Yeah, the end is in sight. Well, so I mean, like I could roll poorly here and not get the activation on him. It's your only but, hope. But in the grand scheme of things, 
you could still potentially bust them out of there with the Redeemer. You'd have uh, to be incredibly unlucky not to. Let's figure it out then. Let's do the All roll. you need is a two. Did you get a two? I got two twos. Yeah. Then he can get out. Yeah. I put the four onto this one. I put the four onto him, which is fine. And I put the three onto him. So yes, what's going to happen now is one will explore, other will explore, and we are out. They escape. Good game. And my Truggers will eat your Redeemer as he comes through the water. Yes, yes, probably. I mean, like, as it stands, the scouts have looked at the other two and went, nope, we're out of here. We are, we, we are not getting paid for this. We're done. Sucks to be you in your heavy armor. Have you seen how quickly I move? Yes. They scream as they run down the tunnel. Yes. Uh, so final thoughts, Jerry. What do you think of the game? I really like it. Mm. Um, I like the fact that the corridors do unusual random things. Yeah. Although I don't like the sanctuary, but you know, <laughs> can't have everything with the sanctuary. Um, I also like the fact that you shuffle the deck mm -hmm. or shuffle the tiles, so we could play this again and have a completely, and have a completely different, uh, literally a completely different yeah. uh, game. Yeah, different you just, area. You're not going to. It's not even a case that you're running through the same corridors in different setups. The fact yeah. that you could run through a mountain of carnivorous or you not have the sanctuary there or run into a room full of fog where, mm. you know, and then it's just a case of being able to manage things. I think yeah. I threw the hunter in too early. If I'd held it for a bit and tried to weaken you a bit more with the Trogos, he may know. have done a bit more damage. I mean, like I, but. whenever that hunter came in, I looked at it and went, okay, I have to murder it. I have to kill the thing. And I had enough stuff just mm. close enough. I mean, like if I had spread out anymore, I would have been in trouble. Yeah. I mean, as it was, I had the two scouts lagging it ahead of everybody, exploring, exploring, exploring. The other two just kind of plodded behind a little bit. Yeah. You know, but I, I quite like that because as stuff was closing in, as that rubber band effect was happening, yeah. they were fit to come up and just get into stuff just in oh, time. Yeah. How many scenarios are in that book, I wonder? There's over 20. Over 20. Mm. So you are going to get a lot of play out of this game. Yeah, even, even without replayability. Mm. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 22 scenarios and some of my favorite ones hit towards the back really where you're not just drawing random tiles mm. but there's one that's called the cathedral Aye. and you're setting up two levels oh, of wow. the cathedral that's that's so really can... lovely put it under there yeah, yeah we can see that so, so there's your top and bottom of your desecrated cathedral so instead of having your random so and you have a multi-level yeah play area in this too that's yeah, yeah. lovely yeah so you've got your desecrated cathedral above and your purified cathedral below and ah. it tells you here's the treasure stash here's the sanctuary here's yeah. your crypt here's the bits and bobs and so so it's a nice mix of mm -hmm. the random tile laying yeah. which means you've got replayability mm -hmm. then also very specific set scenarios where you can go yeah. here is something that's very unique and tailored yeah. specifically for the feel of uh, 1643 yeah. to give you that sort of New Jerusalem feel. So, yeah. Well, everybody, I tell you what, get your comments down below. Tell us, did you enjoy that Let's Play? If we got anything wrong, of course, feel free to let us know in the comments below. We are only human. True. Uh, we will move on. down to the French. We will see you again soon. We hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And be sure to check out beastsofwar.com for the latest gaming news and gaming Let's Plays. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.